Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about ClickBank, and I'm going to go over some of the stats, how to find products. I've been doing a lot of research on this lately, and a lot of videos on YouTube, they are not accurate in explaining some of these stats uh, with ClickBank and how it works. So if you're thinking about getting started with ClickBank, if you're brand new to this, a complete beginner, this is a video for you, or maybe you've been using ClickBank for a while and you just don't quite understand it. So I'm gonna go in and show you how it works, how to find products, and then talk to you about how you can promote these products to get some affiliate sales. Now, if you don't already have a ClickBank account, just go to clickbank.com, click on sign up. It's gonna take you to a page like this. I'm not gonna walk you through this. It's pretty simple how to do. You just go down through here, fill out your information, uh, tick this box, click join ClickBank, and you can create an account absolutely for free. Now, once you get into your ClickBank account and you log into it, it's gonna take you to your dashboard. Now, this is one of my accounts here that I have. You can see that I do make some sales from it. Uh, actually, what I usually from this account, I make anywhere from two to three thousand dollars a month. Some months have been a lot more. I'm going to go through and show you some of my stats, my paychecks I got from this account, uh, just so you can see that I've been using ClickBank for a long time, actually since probably about 2011, uh, maybe a little bit sooner. I've had some of these accounts that I've been using to promote different uh, products, so I've been using it for a long time. I've even launched some of my own products on ClickBank, so I know. I know both ends of it. I know how it works as a vendor and I know how it works as an affiliate too. So here on your home page, what it's going to do is give you a snapshot of your current week's paycheck. So you can see here, it goes back week by week from 615, 622, up till uh, the week of 713 and how much you've made. Now this week's a little bit higher because uh, I did sell a high end ticket item here. Uh, last week and made $460 from it. That's always nice to get those once in a while. But normally, um, an average day is going to be uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars somewhere in there uh, through this account. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here under reporting and go into my paychecks. And in the paycheck section, you can see so far this year I've made about 15, a little over 15,000 dollars. Last year, over 32,000 dollars. And I get these paychecks paid every week to me. So you can see here every week what these paychecks are. This was a good week, close to $1,600 that week. Depending on what I'm promoting, if, it, if I find a really good offer that maybe fits one of my email lists, one of my Facebook groups, or something else that I'm involved in, and if I find a really good product that fits it that I promote to them, I can do really well. In fact, if I go here to page three from last year, um, I found one of those products, promoted it for over a month, and you can see here that uh, just one week I made over $3,600 and then $2,000, $2,000, and $1,000. So that was a really good product. It fit really well uh, with my business and, and some of my customers, and it worked great. I promoted this because I had a small email list. I have a YouTube channel, the one you're watching now, where I do product reviews as well. Uh, you can probably find some of these products on there even uh, that I review. Uh, so between that and maybe a website or two that I have out there that I might do a review on, that's how I make all these sales and money, not just from ClickBank, from, but from the many other affiliate networks that I promote from. And you can find more details about other affiliate networks that I use also uh, throughout my YouTube channel. What I want to do is I want to jump in here to the marketplace and explain to you a little bit about how this works and how you can find products to promote. So we'll go up here and click on Marketplace. Now, if you're brand new to this, there's two ways you can search. You can come up here and you can just click the search button to start off, and it's gonna give you a breakdown of products from top to bottom, ranked based on how you choose from this drop-down box. Now, the two most used are rank and gravity. There's a difference between these two. So right now, by default, it's on rank. Rank means overall volume. So the highest volume, the most sales items are going to be at the top. So this product here is selling more than any other on ClickBank right now. In fact, we can come down here, we can see some stats. The initial sales per conversion is about $135. It does have reoccurring billing option. So what this means, and this is something that I look for, I know a lot of affiliates don't really care if they have reoccurring or not, but one way that I make over about $8,000 a month in affiliate commissions is because I promote a lot of products that are reoccurring, which means every month they get billed and I make commission from it, 
or maybe it's every three months my customers will get billed and I get commissioned from it. So overall long term this can add up to be a huge amount of extra income that you can earn every month by focusing on reoccurring products. Uh, Gravity, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Down here it's going to show you my stats or obviously your stats but if you've promoted this product it's going to show you here the hops it's going to show you based upon the stats up here what your stats are and i'll show you one of those here in just a little bit too so if we scroll down through here we can see a lot of these products these are the the products that are being sold the most which means they're going to be the most competitive products so if you're out there trying to find a product on clickbank to promote Yes, these are the best products. They're the best selling products, but they're also going to be the most competitive products. So if you're just starting in affiliate marketing, I don't recommend you go with a product on the first page or even maybe a product on the second or third page because there's so much competition out there for them. It's going to be harder to make those sales. Now, if you have your own email list, that's a little bit different. Or maybe you have a, a Facebook group based around a specific topic that you can simply post an affiliate link in recommending a product and you can get sales from that way then this would be a great way pick one of these products on the first second or third page because you're not really competing with other affiliates if you have access to those other resources you can use to get customers with but if you're trying to make a youtube video if you're trying to make a website uh, just know you're going to have a lot of competition with these first few pages now what we can do is we can decide to change this and choose by rank what I'm finding a lot of people are saying is that when you choose this uh, option for gravity, it sorts everything by gravity. The results, a lot of them are going to be similar, like this one here still at the top. Uh, basically, you'll see a number here that says gravity, 588.21. That's a huge number. It's really high for a product on ClickBank. A lot of people will assume and tell you that that means that's how many affiliates are promoting this product and making sales. That's not what ClickBank says. ClickBank says, yes, the higher this number is, the more affiliates that are promoting it. But it doesn't necessarily mean there's 588 affiliates promoting it who's made sales from it. It's just a calculation that they use. So gravity, when you sort by gravity, it gives you a better idea of the number or how many affiliates are promoting it. So there's a lot of affiliates promoting this product. This one has a gravity of 341, so a lot less than this one. So there means this basically just tells you there's a lot less affiliates promoting this product than there is this product. So the difference between gravity and rank is that gravity kind of tells you, it gives you a better understanding of how many affiliates are actually promoting that product, whereas rank gives you a better understanding of how many how much volume of that product is actually being sold. So you may not have as many affiliates promoting it, but maybe the, maybe the affiliates that are promoting it are just selling a whole lot more of them. So there is a difference between the two. I like to sort it by gravity, but like I said, these products here are extremely difficult. Um, if you're going in trying to build and rank a website for it, uh, or even a YouTube video, it can be a very big challenge to do that. So even the last product on the first page is 181.47. If we were to jump back to maybe page three, you can see that the gravity is still over 120. And so if we just scroll down here a little bit, uh, we can see here this product here, turn text into speech with human-like voices. This is a product that I've sold some. You can see here 633 hops. A hop is basically when someone goes there and they click on your affiliate link. Um, the average uh, dollar amount that I'm earning per hop or per visitor I'm sending them is around 72 cents. It shows your refund rate, your chargeback, initial sales, rebuild sales, and upsells. So you can see here this is a product that does offer rebuild sales. So I make reoccurring commissions from this product and it does have upsells. So after someone buys the front end product or the initial product they're selling, whether it's maybe $17, $47 or whatever, they go to another page where they're offered an upsell. Maybe it's a pro version or maybe it's an extra item or whatever it is, trying to sell them into another item. And so these upsells, you can see here, I've made quite a bit of extra money from those too. And most products on ClickBank, they're going to have upsells because they know that's how they're going to make more money. And it's also gonna make you a lot more money. 
So if we scroll on down through here, and this item here, or this product, has a gravity of 112. I promote this one um, through my YouTube channel, which I have a review of this product on this YouTube channel. And then also I have a website review that I made a long time ago when this product first launched. It done extremely well. So if we go down here, let's go back to say page six. And you're gonna see our gravity is around 66. So we're getting a lot better now. We're getting down where there's a lot less affiliates promoting these products. When you jump from like 588 uh, down to a gravity of 65, there's a lot less people promoting it. Like this one here, this product, this product's been out for a while. There's another one called Ted's, Wood, Ted's Woodworking Plans or something. They've been out for years. And so that's something else you've got to look at. Some of these products that maybe uh, their gravity isn't very high, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy to promote it because if these products have been out for years, that means there's it's been, it's over the past few years, there's been affiliates building websites, making YouTube videos. So there may be a lot of competition, even with products that has a lower gravity just because they've been out there a lot longer. But at the same time, you're probably gonna find a lot of these products um, that has a lot of gravity that don't have much competition that you can promote. And the best way to find these is to come over here under the filters, and what you can do is set a gravity. So if you're beginning, I would suggest maybe set a gravity between zero and 50. And then the date added to marketplace. You wanna look for newer products because the newer products, uh, they haven't had as much time to get near as many affiliates as a lot of these other products. They're newer, newer so they don't have as much competition. So we could say we could go to, uh, let's just do like the last, say 30, 31 days. We'll just go here. So now it's sorting it. Over the last month, uh, these products have been added and they have a gravity between zero and 50. And so we can go here and we can see this product called Circuboost. It has a gravity of 2.66, which means people's already promoting it. On average, when they send a customer to this place and they buy throughout the funnel, uh, you're gonna earn about $13.29. That's kind of low, uh, but if you go down through here, you can see here's other products. And if you send a customer to them and they purchase, on average, you're gonna make $29. This one, $88. So here's looking a lot better. Uh, this one here, $110. So you need to look at your average cost per conversion. And this can do two different things. So if this here says $13.29, it means one of two things. It means either they're selling a really low ticket item or this place is just paying really low commissions. Most of these places don't pay low commissions. You're gonna make 50%, 75%, something like that in commissions. So this may just be a product that doesn't cost very much. So maybe it's a $27 item, a $30 item, and out of that you make $13. If it's a lower ticket item, you're gonna sell more of them, but you're gonna make less per sale. Whereas if you go down here to this product, you can see here you're earning $110 on average per customer that you send them that buys. And so uh, you gotta kinda weigh your differences. Do you wanna make more sales with a product that just costs less? Or do you wanna make less sales but make more money on average per customer that you send them? And especially if you're brand new in ClickBank is to come over here and do your settings like this, zero to 50, uh, do the date added to marketplace, do the last month, you can even do the last two months or even three months if you want to, um, however far back you wanna go. The further back you go, the more products you're gonna see. So if we was to go back, say, let's just go back three months, uh, you're gonna see items here like this one, um, which has a higher gravity. So we have more affiliates promoting this who are making sales, so this is great. The average sales 121.69. Here's another one, 129, 146. So we're seeing a lot better items here that pay a lot more, and they also have uh, more affiliates promoting it, more affiliates making sales, so this is good. So you could come in here and go into any one of these items and you could start promoting them. So how do you promote them? Well, so the first thing you'd wanna do is click on the link, open up the page, check it out. Uh, does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. It's got great graphics. Looks like there's some types of bottles. And these are usually good because with these, you can usually get reoccurring commissions from them because they'll order and they'll be, and they can choose to be put up on like a monthly plan or something. So if we go back here, you're going to see, uh, which this one actually doesn't, I'm, re I'm really surprised. 
So down here you'll see these little icons. You can see this is an English offer. You can see it has shippable media, so it's a physical item. They do have upsells. Uh, and this here says that there's additional uh, hop links or URLs that you can use as your affiliate link, but I don't see in here where it's reoccurring, which I'm really surprised. If we scroll on down here, you can see this item uh, does have a reoccurring billing offer. And you can see they have a few other things on here too. It has a one-time billing, it has reoccurring, it does have upsells, it even has a mobile hop link uh, that you can use to send traffic to. So pay attention to these little icons down here. Um, personally, I like the ones that has the reoccurring. I like to get people hooked on the reoccurring. And this one actually, uh, if you look at this, it has a gravity of 7.1 and the average customer $697 okay so this is one that I, I might be interested in promoting let's go check out the sales page okay join the crypto swap profits mastermind we can look through here video we can join it let me go ahead and just open that up in a new tab not crazy about the sales page uh, but they are making sales here so it's fifteen hundred dollars then ninety seven dollars a month so since they're paying that ninety seven dollars a month you're going to be making commissions off that every every month uh, whenever they pay and if we scroll on down uh, let's see if they have they don't have a link down here for affiliates but they might have one they got one here you can see where it says affiliate page and then here's their affiliate so let's go there Affiliates promote the hottest webinar of 2021. So this is good. So what they're doing here is that when when you see where it says promote a webinar, what they're going to do is give you an affiliate link that's going to send your where you can send your traffic to a video like a webinar where people can actually uh, get a full breakdown details of what this product is, which is really good because webinars convert people really good into buyers compared to just sending them to a sales page uh, let's scroll on down here the product how to promote affiliate links swipes payout details and the replay so they have all the resources you need here if you want to promote this product product consists of two elements core training mastermind form community and support and they got screenshots here you can see they got testimonials a video more testimonials sign up uh, for clickbank hopefully you've already got your account set up and you can see you can you can create your affiliate links by simply replacing this text with your affiliate id now for my account if i go back here and scroll up you're going to see where it says welcome 10858 so this is actually my affiliate id these five numbers and so what i could do is go down here and i could just replace your clickbank id with the 10858 and then i would use this entire link and this is where I would send uh, all of my traffic to that I'm going to be promoting this product for. So if I go to this URL, it's going to send them to this page here. Okay. And then, like I said, you want to remember though, when you do this, you want to replace this part here with your ID. And then they have a direct to replay page and a direct to order button. So there's, there's different ways that you can send them uh, to purchase for this, which is really good. They have email swipes, promo material, uh, payouts. How do I get, okay, just some more info here. Webinar replay, and then some stuff from affiliates. So this seems like it might be a really good offer if you're into crypto. Uh, you may wanna check that out. The pay is definitely really good for that. But this is what I do when I come in here and go into ClickBank. Um, use these filters. These filters, I think a lot of people just ignore them. They don't really pay much attention to them. They just uh, come up here and do a simple search see what's hot what's popular and selling that's what they try to promote they don't make any sales from it because there's too much competition out there so they give up on it so don't do that come in here use these filters sort out uh, like i said if you're new you want to try going for these products that has less competition the newer products that don't have as many people out there who's built websites or youtube videos to promote these products so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this training. If you did, uh, let me know by liking this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll be sure to let you know when I put out new training uh, material. Thanks.